Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be covering everything you need to know about a medication called Omeprazole. Omeprazole is also known by its brand names, Losec, Losec MEPS, or Pyrocarm. So in this video, we're going to cover a brief overview of Omeprazole, who can and can't take Omeprazole and the common doses, how and when to take the medication, what you should do if you forget to take a dose or want to stop taking Omeprazole, the potential side effects of omeprazole, and finally, we're going to cover some common questions about omeprazole, such as can you take it with alcohol and what to do if you're pregnant. Before we start the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So first of all, what is omeprazole? Well, omeprazole is a medication which reduces the amount of acid that your stomach makes, and it's widely used to treat indigestion, heartburn, and acid reflux. It's also taken to prevent and treat stomach ulcers. Omeprazole is a particular type of medicine called a proton pump inhibitor, also known as a PPI. Proton pumps are enzymes in the lining of your stomach that help to make acid in order to digest food. Omeprazole prevents proton pumps from working properly, which in turn reduces the amount of acid that the stomach makes. So omeprazole comes as capsules, tablets, and as a liquid that you can swallow. And here in the UK, all types of omeprazole are available on prescription. However, you can buy 20 milligram tablets from pharmacies and supermarkets. You can't buy omeprazole capsules or liquid in the UK because these are prescription only, i.e. you need to see your doctor first before you can be prescribed these types of omeprazole. So now that we've got a better understanding of what omeprazole is and what it's used for, let's go and discuss who can take omeprazole and what doses it's available in. Well, omeprazole can be taken by most adults and it can also be taken by children and babies if it's been prescribed by a doctor. However, certain individuals may not be able to take omeprazole. To make sure that omeprazole is safe for you, tell your doctor if you've ever had an allergic reaction to omeprazole or any other medication that is similar to this, such as lansoprazole. The doctor will also want to know if you've got liver problems or if you're going to be having something called an endoscopy, which is a camera test to assess the lining of the stomach. If this is the case, then you may want to ask your doctor if you should stop taking omeprazole a few weeks before your endoscopy. This is because omeprazole may hide some of the problems that would usually be spotted during this procedure. In terms of dosage, well, each tablet or capsule contains 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, or 40 milligrams of omeprazole, and liquid omeprazole comes labeled as either two milligrams per one mil or four milligrams per one mil. In terms of dosages, well, the usual adult dose to treat indigestion is 10 to 20 milligrams a day. Heartburn or acid reflux is 20 to 40 milligrams a day. And stomach ulcers are 20 to 40 milligrams a day or higher if needed. Doses are usually lower for people with liver problems and individual dosages will be given depending on what your health professional who's caring for you thinks is clinically most beneficial. Sometimes your doctor might increase the dose of omeprazole if it's not working well enough, and depending on the reason you take omeprazole, you may take a higher dose to begin with than usual in the first few weeks. After this, your doctor then may recommend that you take a lower dose. So moving on now, let's discuss how and when you should take the medication. So you'll usually take omeprazole once a day, and if you do this, then you'll take it first thing in the morning. It won't affect your stomach, so you can take it with or without food. If you take omeprazole twice a day, then take one dose in the morning and one dose in the evening. And it's important to try and swallow the tablets and capsules whole with a drink of water or squash. Now, if you're having problems swallowing capsules, the most brands of omeprazole capsules are easy to open. This means that you can empty the granules inside and mix them in a small amount of water or squash. You could also sprinkle them on soft food, such as yogurt or apple puree. Omeprazole can also come as a tablet that melts in your mouth. So if you're having difficulty swallowing the capsules or tablets, speak to your doctor about one that can melt. If you're unsure about whether you can open your capsules, then speak to a pharmacist who will be able to advise you on this. So now we've covered common dosages and how to take the medication, how long do you need to take omeprazole for? Well, if you bought the medicine yourself from a pharmacy or supermarket, then you can take it for up to 14 days. If you still feel no better after taking the omeprazole for 14 days, you should tell your doctor because they may want to do more tests to find out what's causing your symptoms or change you to a different medication. Depending on your condition or the reason that you're taking omeprazole, you may only need it for a few weeks or months. However, sometimes you might need to take it for longer, even for many years. It's important to note at this point that some people don't need to take omeprazole every day. Some people only take it when they're having symptoms. 
Once you feel better, which is often after a few days or weeks, you can often stop taking it. But if you're unsure, you should always speak to a pharmacist or doctor before doing so. Another question that's commonly asked is if you forget to take a meprazole, then what should you do? Well, if you usually take it once a day, take the missed dose as soon as you remember it. If it's 12 hours or less to your next dose, then don't take it. Just wait for your next dose. If you usually take meprazole twice a day, then take the missed dose as soon as you remember. If it's four hours or less to your next dose, then again, you don't need to take it. Just wait till your next regular dose. And remember, don't take two doses to make up for a forgotten one. If you do find yourself forgetting doses often, it may help you to set an alarm to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you to remember to take your medication. So now let's move on and just briefly discuss what to do if you decide that you might want to stop taking a meprazole. Well, usually you can stop taking a meprazole without reducing the dose first. So for example, if you're on 20 milligrams, there's usually no need to reduce to 10 and then stop. But if you've been taking a meprazole for a long time, then it's worthwhile speaking to your doctor before you stop taking it because stopping suddenly could make your stomach produce a lot more acid and make your symptoms come back. In this case, reducing the dose gradually before stopping completely can prevent this from happening. So now that we've covered all of these points, let's move on to the final section of the video and discuss some of the side effects of a meprazole. So in this section, I'm not going to give you an exhaustive list of all possible side effects because that would take far too long to cover and it would also be quite boring. If you want to know about all of the side effects of meprazole, then it's worthwhile seeing the leaflet which is often on the inside of medicine packets. Instead, in this section, we're going to cover common side effects, which occur in more than one in a hundred people. So these common side effects include things like headaches, feeling sick, being sick or having diarrhea, stomach pains, constipation, and also flatulence, which is also known as farting. Serious side effects are rare, and these happen in less than one in a thousand people. However, if any of the following happen, then it's important to call a doctor or contact 111 if you live in the UK straight away. So these side effects include things like your skin becoming more yellow, although this may be less obvious on dark skin. If your pee becomes darker and you feel more tired, because this could indicate signs of liver problems. If you get joint pain along with a red skin rash, especially on those parts of your body that are exposed to the sun. And so by this, I mean your arms, your cheeks and your nose, because this can be a sign of a very rare condition called subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus. This can happen even if you've been taking a meprazole for a very long time. If you've also got severe or persistent diarrhea, then it's important to see a doctor because this can be a sign of an inflamed bowel. In rare cases, it is also possible to have a serious allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis to omeprazole. In this case, you need to dial 999 immediately. Finally, there can be some long-term side effects of taking omeprazole. So if you've taken omeprazole for more than three months, the level of magnesium in your blood may fall. So how do you know if you've got low magnesium? Well, low magnesium can make you feel tired, confused, dizzy, and it can also cause muscle twitches, shakiness, and a regular heartbeat. If you do get any of these symptoms, then you should tell your doctor. Also, taking omeprazole for more than a year may increase your risk of certain side effects, and these include things like bone fractures, gut infections, vitamin B12 deficiency, and the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency would include feeling very tired, having a sore and red tongue, which is known as glossitis, mouth ulcers, as well as pins and needles. If you take meprazole for longer than a year, then your doctor will regularly check your health to see if you should carry on taking it. Also, if you feel like a meprazole is not working or not helping to control your symptoms, talk to your doctor because there may be other underlying causes of this or the medication may not be working. Finally, what should you do if you're pregnant or you want to drink alcohol? Well, if you're pregnant, then the NHS suggests that omeprazole is safe to take during pregnancy. However, it may be better to try and treat your indigestion without taking medicine. You could try to eat smaller meals more often and avoid fatty and spicy foods because these can make symptoms of reflux flare. Sitting up straight when you eat can also take the pressure off your stomach. And if you get symptoms at night, then you could consider propping your head and shoulders up when you go to bed with a few extra pillows. This helps to stop the acid coming up the windpipe whilst you sleep. If these lifestyle changes don't work, then omeprazole may be recommended for you. Finally, what about drinking alcohol when on omeprazole? Well, it's best to avoid alcohol if possible, although it doesn't seem to affect the way omeprazole works. It's important to remember though, that alcohol makes your stomach produce more acid than normal, and this can irritate your stomach lining and make your symptoms worse. So it's actually just a good idea to try lay off or reduce the amount of alcohol you're drinking. 
So this brings us to the end of the video. Please check out the link to the NHS website. I've included that in the description box of this video for lots more information on omeprazole. You'll also be able to find answers to common questions such as can I take omeprazole at the same time as an antacid like Gaviscon or will it affect contraception? So thanks very much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye.